for the truth's sake which dwelleth in us and shall be with us forever. Second John chapter 2 The Morning Spurgeon, October 25th for the truth's sake which dwelleth in us, and shall be with us forever. Once let the truth of God obtain an entrance into the human heart, and subdue the whole man unto itself, no power human or infernal can dislodge it. We entertain it not as a guest, but as the master of the house. This is a Christian necessity. He is no Christian who doth not thus believe. Those who feel the vital power of the gospel and know the might of the Holy Ghost as he opens, applies, and seals the Lord's word, would sooner be torn to pieces than be rent away from the gospel of their salvation. What a thousand mercies are wrapped up in the assurance that the truth will be with us forever, will be our living support, our dying comfort, our rising song, our eternal glory. This is Christian privilege. Without it, our faith were little worth. Some truths we outgrow and leave behind, for they are but rudiments and lessons for beginners. But we cannot thus deal with divine truth, for though it is sweet food for babes, it is in the highest sense strong meat for men. The truth that we are sinners is painfully with us to humble and make us watchful. The more blessed truth that whosoever believeth in the Lord Jesus shall be saved abides with us as our hope and joy. Experience so far from loosening our hold of the doctrines of grace has knit us to them more and more firmly. Our grounds and motives for believing are now more strong, more numerous than ever, and we have reason to expect that it will be so till in death we clasp the Savior in our arms. Wherever this abiding love of truth can be discovered, we are bound to exercise our love. No narrow circle can contain our gracious sympathies. Wide as the election of grace must be our communion of heart, much of error may be mingled with truth received. Let us war with the error, but still love the brother for the measure of truth which we see in him above all. Let us love and spread the truth ourselves.